I think um, one of the most important um, ways that we can promote family-centered care is by recognizing that there is a family, who they are, and by embracing a broader definition of family than we might normally think. So not only who's at home, but who's important in your life, and who are you living for in addition to yourself. Um, one of the things I love about my practice is that I have a number of families where I take care of two, if not three generations. But when I don't care for their family members, I care for their family members um, by you know, recognizing the important role that they play in their lives. Some of those family members may be caregivers. Um, some of them may be dependents um, who, who are being cared for by the patient. I'm probably um, most proud of um, the care and attention that I give to my patients. Um, I think a number of them might say if you ask them um, that I'm, I'm always available. That's very important to me, um, that my patients feel cared for, that they feel like, especially for people who are dealing with complex illness, unknowns, uncertainty, that they feel like there's someone who is really kind of keeping an eye on the big picture and understands all of the pieces, even if they have multiple specialists caring for them, that there's someone who's really on top of all of that and who can empower them to be the captain of their own ship. But the second part uh, that I think I'm most proud of and, and why I'm here um, at Johns Hopkins is, uh, is because of the teaching, the teaching component. The, the incredible honor and privilege that I, I have to be able to be um, hopefully a good role model, that is an incredible privilege and it's something that enables me to keep learning all the time. <music>